talk about like a little walkthrough of early scores online and like how to rank up because most people like don't know it, they struggle to rank up one thing so it's sort of like a mini walkthrough and also like a, to, like a strategy on how to rank up more fast what one step there's only one thing you have to do only the objective is the easiest thing just doing it may be a bit of a struggle depending on what mission level it is so like you could be level 17 and be doing like a level 33 mission but what you have to do is go into any nearby town so i'm doing a mission i'm doing a level 17 mission i'm level 27 at the moment i know i started this uh, walk through a bit late but i will be keep i will be continue going i'm sure i haven't been uploading as well just been busy my problems but um, this mission is called Honor Bound. Now I've got to rescue afflicted commons and monks. Okay, I did this one before to help someone. So, I'm going to kill this thing for the zombie. So, as you see in this game, um, you get these like black like triangles, like just diamonds, you call them diamonds. You get these black diamonds. These are quests from people. So, whenever you do a mission and you always see this, you must accept a quest. I'm not going to accept a quest because these quests are too easy maybe um but you know what it could actually be worth a risk of getting a skill point to upgrade your thing so it's like a free skill point if you think it's that easy but at the same time this mission we just gotta find five monks now um one here two actually thank you for saving me We've got a lot of emotes in this game, like at least loads, like about seven pages of emotes. All in different parts of the um, game. So if I click start, emotes, and you use all these, like, you know, arms crossed, you sit at that, but yeah. Um, you, when you get from level 1 to 14, you have one weapon. And that's the weapon you start off from. You can have like a staff or a bow at level 14. 14. 15 and above you get two weapons as soon as you hit level 15 you get two weapons to use so for example <coughs> i started off with jewel wield and then i got level 15 and i started to use a destruction staff uh it was pretty okay but now i'm starting to use um another staff no i'm starting to use a bow bow does a lot of damage and uh, it definitely does a lot of damage when you're hidden as well so now we've got to find one more bow which like a live commentary sort of thing And then lost monkey mission may be difficult. Alright guys, I'm gonna skip the video. I think I found the monk. Okay guys, I found the monk, so now I'm just gonna rescue her. This is a dark job by the way. Okay, now I've got to speak to the dealer. Um you guys can listen to what they say if you want to. It just so you just talk about what happens. I just had to skip it. If you want to get the mission done, just keep skipping it. Alright, now I've got a rescue. I think I've killed this guy before. Back when I was at level 12, I had to kill him. He was a pretty strong guy, but I don't know if, like, I think I had to kill him just to, like, gain my dominance. So that means now I know that I know I'm stronger than him. Oh, wait, wrong guy. <laughs> Last time I killed him, he had an armor. Okay, now I've got to go back into this place here, for the know it is. By the way guys, um, the cheapest horse in the game is 10,000 coins. I only have 4,000. I could have had at least more, but I've been spending it, giving some away, because I don't really need that money any anymore. I only need money, like about at least 2,000 in case of armor repairs uh, below. Alright, cool. Alright, so I, I think I killed this one before, so yeah, I have killed this one before to help my friend. Pretty easy for me, you know, it's like a normal person. Uh, I've got bow, you can get crossbow in this as well. Okay, she's dead. Let me just, oh, I've got a pumpkin. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this a little bit in first person now. I'm gonna kill people in first, first, first. There's been a new update in SharePlay as well. I can now record up to 40 minutes or edit a project up to 40 minutes. So I could be uploading more than just a little bit of a 15 minute video. I can do loads of minutes now. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I like the way I did that. So I can make 22 minute videos. So it could be long for you guys to enjoy as well. Um, 
Okay, now I've got to go kill Askan Gnizak Gnazla. I'm pronouncing that right. They've got really weird names. I've met people up in Shadowfen. There's like a place, a little swamp called, um, what's it called? It was, uh, this person here. It was called, um, oh, Hiss of Tears or something like that. Or Pale Heart. Like, these names, man. I actually love, I love this move as well. I can't see the button. Anyway. It's like a massive swarm of arrows. Scatter shot. Uh, I'm actually fighting for a person in my mind. Right? Yeah, I can turn invisible as well. That's pretty cool with this move. Okay, now I've got to go talk to the guy again. Alright, so all of these missions here, I can accept them. I just can't bother to accept them because they're going to be too easy. They give me no XP. I want some a mission that give me high XP. I might end up doing these anyway. It's probably later in the game. When I hit like level 30 or something. I, you can, I think you can get prestige in this. I just don't know what it's called. I know you get, when you hit level 50, you get like a little symbol next to your name. And you turn level 1. And that probably means you can get stronger. I wouldn't really know. Okay, so I'm now traveling to this guy here. Oh, a star. That's pretty cool. And a gold. So you gave me some good XP there. Um, let me see what the staff is. Like, 480, the frost star. So you get electric, frost, fire, and lightning. Those are the four stars you get. Um, I might just do this mission as well. Just to show you how good it is. I'm just going to ride there now. I'm going to skip the video. Oh, look, no point. Bless me. Just sneeze. Don't know if you guys heard it. I think it's these guys here. Oh no. In fact, you know what? No, I'm gonna abandon the mission this time. I'll probably do it later. These are the PvP missions I get to do. I'm just gonna kill a couple of zombies. Oh, that's gonna be technical. Okay. Now the map's pretty huge. I thought when I first started the game, I just thought this was the map. Wow, wow, I was like, wow, this map's pretty big. But no, this isn't even. Oh wait, man, come back. Alright, let me try to get to the safe spot. This is the map over here. So you've got this Sean here. No, it's called him or D Sean. I don't know what it is. This is the map here, the where you first spawn at Devon's Watch, and then you got the Sean here, and you got all this map to discover here, and you got this map. I was like, oh, okay, it's a pretty big map. Wow, that's pretty big. But then you got this whole entire PvP map, which I'm in the Red Clan at the moment. We are dominating at the moment. We're dominating every single one, apart from these two um, headquarters here, which they need. Uh, okay, and you've got the Rift. Level 42 area, I wouldn't go there, that's where werewolves spawn, you can get a werewolf fight. You've got East March, you've got everywhere, I don't know where White One is going, she got loads of places in this map. I even discovered the whole entire map, you've got all these places here. And this how big the map is, you just got all the places here, and you've got Cold Harbor, which is like the place you first spawn in. Pretty cool though, isn't it? That's like when like the little soul place you spawn in when you are in jail. So for ruining it guys, just like, you know, just the people that played the game first. Oh wait a minute, just to actually do that, I need to see what armor I'm wearing, I'm wearing heavy. Yeah, I'm basically wearing full heavy armor. This is bad, because now my attacks won't do that much damage. If you wear light armor, I think it increases your damage more. Same with the other armor as well. I need to get this, actually, let me kill this person here. That just stuns them, that's what I really like about the crossbow. What is that? It just stuns them on the floor. Come on, shoot it. Okay. This move, shoot at him. Shoot, you get, I upgraded this move actually, so what it does. I, the reason why I moved back is because that before, before what it was, it was like, um, 
I shoot it, they go flying backwards and they get concussed. And now, it makes me, it's like an evasive. Sorry guys, just a bit busy. Okay guys. But this is only a little bit, it's only a short walkthrough, so if it's a bit short, maybe like a 9-10 minute video, I'm not really on my stop work at the moment, but yeah, this is the only video I've got at the moment, in fact, I was quickly to do this one little portal here. If you see these guys, if you see these portal guys in the Elder Scrolls Online, be sure to go with them, but go with them in the group, they're like, they're pretty, they bring some pretty good stuff to you, do some good loot from these guys here, um, I'm just gonna kill them. I'm level 20, so I can get this done, quick, easy. Need my Baron as well. So you get more spawning, you get a watcher. These guys are the most annoying in the game, I don't know why they're just annoying. They just shoot these at you. Alright, are you dead anymore? No. Oh, I don't get any loot from the anybody's here. I'm like close, soon gonna get level 28. Um, but anyways guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna stop the video here now. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, as always, I'll be uploading more videos. Uh, maybe some tutorials, maybe how to's, how to gameplay in the game, like how to rank up, how to steal, how to get money, how to like sell your stuff to the merchant, like outlaws. And guys, on that note.